This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting, proudly sponsored by Empire Fire Store and joined by Lena the Plug today in Las Vegas. You said my name right! Right! Oh, thank God. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. No, it's like everyone's like, oh my God, I'm your biggest fan, Lena. And I'm like... No, that's funny you mentioned that because the people who came here today, they were like, oh, that's Lena the Plug. And I was like, no, it's Lena. Like, no, it's Lena. I mean, that's supposed to know being doing an intro. I will not forget you because you got it correct. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing here then, Lena? Lena. <laughs> Lena the Plug. What are you doing here today, Lena? I'm here today meeting my lovely fans, but mostly representing Plug Talk. We've been interviewing a lot of adult creators. We've been interviewing a lot of fans. Um, I've been seeing a lot of couples come to AVN together. That's very interesting to me, so I love talking to them about that. Yeah. I was just talking to Adam, and this is kind of the new thing of doing Plug Talk. And I was asking him, is it hard at this stage in your both two careers to find new ideas to kind of generate and new businesses to come? Honestly, I'm going to give him all the credit. He's like the brains behind a lot of the operation. He's very annoyingly creative to the point where I'm like trying to fall asleep and he's like, I have an idea and I'm like, not right now, okay? I'm trying to fall asleep. So, so far, I don't think he's out of ideas. I help make sure they happen, but he's like, this is an idea. Let's do this. So, Is Adam one of those people that kind of fall asleep but they wake up and they've got a new idea? They're kind of always trying to progress the business and they're always working. Yeah, he's kind of one of those people who you like would assume they were on Adderall if you didn't know them because he's just ha so high energy and so enthusiastic about life. He's just like, let's go, you know? Okay, that's good though. As a husband, I guess you want that. But what I'm going to ask, what's it like being a mum now? Um, it's tiring. It's tiring. It's, a, it's amazing. It's incredibly rewarding. Uh, and being a mom and doing this is like challenging because I'm here and I'm doing something so different than what is normal in my life. Like 99% of my life is me wearing sweatpants, no makeup on, just like on the floor playing with crayons. And then now I'm here, I'm like this fantasy woman, have makeup, you know, it's just like very different roles and you have to balance between the two, yeah. Is it hard? I was asking Adam, and the last question to him was about time management. I was like, is it really hard to balance the time? For yourself, I'm being a mom, caring for the baby, and doing all of this. How do you manage your time? So I used to be one of those people who was like, I have to do all of it myself. And in the last year, I've hired uh, an assistant. She's over there. She's amazing. And now I don't know what I would do without her because there's like, I have so many things to think about. Like beyond the business, it's just like, what preschool are we going to enroll in? And doing all the research, like now my job is way bigger. So hiring out help has been like really, really helpful for me. Yeah. Okay. That's quite, that's quite interesting then. I guess that's really nice of the assistant. <laughs> they, can do, they can do a few other things, but... I don't take too much of time here, but what do you got coming up for yourself, you and Adam? What do you got on the radar the next few months? Honestly, we, we like kind of rushed with Plug Talk to just get it out there, and that and we've done one year of that, and now I think we just want to make the brand bigger and better and really put more time and energy into the whole of it. So I, I'm really looking forward to doing that and flushing it all out. How'd you go about making it bigger and better? Do you just do more and more work? Like, what's the strategy behind it? Um, I mean, I think it's like how how can our content look better appearance wise? Like, what kind of creative direction should we be doing? Like, how should we be styling things differently? Like, different talking points. Like, just making the content actually look better and actually be better, and um, and then just finding different promotional tools and things like that. Yeah, the bo the boring stuff, you know. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Well, Lena, I appreciate your time today. I'll see you next year. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it.